Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy from Van Anna Company. It's Wednesday, November 21st. I'm going to go over the markets with you. It was a typical first day, uh, the last trade before Thanksgiving. Very quiet. Didn't have a whole lot of movement. Outside markets were friendly, and that gave a little bit of support to the grain markets. Corn market up about a half cent. Bean market up three and a half. Wheat market about steady on the day. So, like I said, very, very quiet trade. Uh, meat markets had cattle on feed at 11, so it was back to old school where you saw it during the trading day and you got a trade off of it right away. It did come in here friendly, uh, so you saw those uh, cattle prices start to skyrocket up. They did settle back a little bit, still on the positive, just over a dollar higher for live cattle, feeder cattle. Uh, lean hogs, though, a little bit of mixed trade when you look at that. And like I said, outside markets were friendly with crude and the Dow higher with the dollar slightly lower. Um, we come into a time frame now where the markets are closed tomorrow. Um, they are closed tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow night, and we'll have a hard open for grains and meats on Friday morning, um, so you'll see a lot of action there. Sometimes Fridays can get a little bit uh, tricky that Friday after Thanksgiving can get a little bit of movement there. But to be honest, this year there just isn't any news out there unless something happens when you look at US and China. That is going to be the driving force for trade moving forward is that uh, summit, the G20 summit at the end of the month where you are trying to get the US and China to come together. Once again, you had talks from top officials that things just aren't going great. Uh, they did ban one individual from coming, um, which is President Trump, one of his advisors. Um, he is very um, hard on China. And so maybe that is a sign that they're willing to come to the table and have some good talks. Um, but we'll have to wait and kind of see how that goes. And like I said, that's going to be the driving force. You do have export sales on Friday, so that'll give some life to the markets as well. I do have to close with the disclaimer. Trading in futures and options involves risk to loss and is not suitable for all producers. Have a great Thanksgiving.